we're going to take a walk now, go up the beach. It's such a beautiful, beautiful island. Andrew and I are excited today because our friends Naomi and Dusty are coming over from Yapoon, so over this way and we're going to have a day to play together. Um, they bring their little boy over as well. So Naomi and I are co-hosts of the Gentle Business Mastermind and we spend lots of time together virtually in Zoom rooms and on calls but we don't get to spend a lot of time in person so it's going to be really fun to be able to hang out on the beach and, um, and have some adventures. give Naomi this uh, envelope to send off to our bookkeeper because she looks after our receipts and um, yeah, Naomi, Naomi will be closer to a post box than I will be this week. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'll bring the tender over, over there. Yeah. Hello Luke! Hello, Luke. Thanks for coming out. Hi Cooper. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. How you going? <laughs> How you going, Daniel? <laughs> See ya. We don't get to see each other very often, do we? No. Well, not in real life. Not in real life. So it's a bit of a treat. Yeah. Particularly on an island. Yeah, with a view like this. It makes it even better. And in my back door. Yeah, right in your back door. You're so lucky. Yeah. I can see why you come here to go camping. Yeah, it's very good. And very lucky that you get to be cruising along up the coast and come visit. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, Nate, a couple of newsletters ago, you were talking about being just as dedicated and ambitious <laughs> <laughs> around self-care. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Well, it's early days, but so far, really good. I think just having that in my mind that I can be really ambitious and goal-driven about other things like work. Um, why can't I turn that focus to taking care of myself and having more empty moments, I guess. Mm. That if I turn that attention in a similar way, that I could probably have those things. Mm. So, yeah, I've been doing that and I've been doing the morning journaling and I was very inspired by you, by some of the things that, you're, that you track in your morning journaling and I'm just finding that that's helping me actually reflect on the day before of where things perhaps didn't go so well and what I could tweak in this day ahead so it's helping me be I think a lot more present and focused on I'm making it happen yeah. and we're here on an island taking time out instead of working so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so ask me ask me again in I don't know two months yeah I will and make sure I'm still still sticking to it yeah I'm still being ambitious <laughs> yeah still being ambitious around your self-care yeah I love that ambitious around your self-care because so, mm -hmm. it's so easy do you think it's mostly women that go through this or is it, it it's all of our culture do you think in particularly western culture that's so work driven or is it just a way of being that you choose in, as an individual that's such a good question hmm. i don't know yeah i think um overall we seem to associate some goals as being 
mm. better than others, right? Like, mm. and they're usually the ones that are around work or money, and and they have a superior level to them mm. and success and what that looks like. And we seem to be really ambitious and driven towards those, but not always the ones that are more gentler. And I always find it hilarious because we run something called Gentle Business Mastermind <laughs> and yet we're sitting here on a beach talking about how I need to be ambitious about being more gentle and taking more time. <laughs> well, that's for why we run the mastermind, right? Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. it's something that we all need support with. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And to be yeah, given permission that, that that's okay and it's a worthwhile focus to have in life. It's not lazy. It's not selfish. It's um, a way of actually being able to then show up Mm. more fully and be more connected with yourself and your priorities and what actually matters mm. and to us it's part of success mm. yeah that's mm. right yeah exactly redefining success mm. Mm. wise words <laughs> <laughs> mind you I mean it's fairly cliche to say that we're sitting on a beach <laughs> we've reached the pinnacle of success now it can also be successful to lie in bed and you know read, a, read your kindle and watch your favorite episode of netflix and just yeah. do whatever it is that feels good for you isn't it yeah and i think the thing for me is it's more of that and it's more of actually doing nothing because mm -hmm. i find that even if i do have a moment i will fill it with something even if it is netflix or something like that so i'm trying to play with the idea of doing nothing in some spaces if the... i haven't been great at that yet so hopefully next time we chat I'll be a pro. It's, yeah. There's an art to it, isn't there? It's a bit of a, a cultivated thing to practice the art of doing nothing. Yeah. yeah. To relish in the boredom and yeah. space. In space. Mm. Mm. I lay down in the bed yesterday and the, because the hatch above the bed was open a crack and it, so it was letting the sunlight in. And in the sunlight was all the little dust particles. You know how you see mm -hmm. that when you, the light's just right? And I lay on the bed and I just thought, oh, I'm going to play with the dust particles. And I was like, whoosh, whoosh, and blowing them. And they were doing little whirly whirlies and looking like golden glitter in the, in, the, in the air. And I thought, this is just as nourishing as, well, in fact, in fact, some ways is more nourishing than doing other things that sometimes are supposed to be relaxing and replenishing. That's awesome. Yeah, and fun. like if you had a screen out or you were busy doing something, you wouldn't have noticed. Wouldn't have noticed you the dust have particles. Noticed that opportunity to no. play. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I talk about playfulness a lot. But playfulness often, like we're watching your kids play today, mm. or your Daniel and the little cousin, and they need that space. And we're the same as adults. We need to create space to be able to play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think our lunch might be ready. Yeah. Awesome. Maybe Dusty's coming to give tips on space. Thanks, Dusty. <laughs> You're on camera. Come give us some tips on um, creating space and self-care. You've got to find some things that make you happy. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's a good start. It so, is. Like it's, fishing for you and fishing, kayaking. Fishing and kayaking is something that I do. Um, Nature. I don't think of it as self-care, but it is self-care because it's doing things you like doing. and Kayaking's a little bit solitary. It helps you get away from the house, hey, and your normal yes. context. Yeah. Yes. Like we are here. Yeah. It's kind of a little escape in some ways. Yeah. You can't get distracted by jobs or chores. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You yeah. don't care about any of that when you're paddling out on this thing. And it's good for us because you're over there cooking lunch for us <laughs> while we just sit and chat to these fine people. One of my many talents. <laughs> so lucky. We'll judge that shortly. <laughs> Yeah, Thanks, Dust. Might even have vegetarian options. Yeah. <laughs> nice outfit. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes, yeah, starving. Let's go have some lunch. boys are going off to go for a snorkel which gives Naomi and I some quiet time where we get to chat and talk girl stuff. So Nay and I have had plenty of 
girl time. Lots of chats while the boys went snorkeling and we're going to take a walk now, go up the ridge. Looks like a really beautiful scenic view of the bay and around the island. Mutton bird nests, maybe? Got <laughs> the grass trees up here? Yes. It's cool. great scenery, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful for the boat? Hello, Lacey. <laughs> Hope's there. such a beautiful, beautiful island and I think that we might have a place to ourselves. I think everyone else on the island has gone home so it's pretty special. It's like a nice spot to sit, me. It's about to get loud, though. About to get loud. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some excited boys coming. Yes. This is their favourite, their favourite spot to stop. It's a beautiful view. Can you see all the butterflies? Aren't they wonderful? I love butterflies. I think they're one of my favourite things. Absolutely. We've done a beautiful loop walk around the island up over the ridges and now we're coming back down to the beach where we'll walk along back to Naomi and Dusty's campsite for a spot of dinner I think. Yeah. Well, I think that's the end of another absolutely glorious day. We've been so lucky with the weather and it's been so nice to spend some in-person time with Naomi and um, get to hang out with her family and see her favorite camping spot how beautiful is it so I hope you've enjoyed this video and coming on our adventure with us feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I have some new videos out I'm going to be making new videos about painting and sharing some new techniques and uh, more of these vlogs as well so hit the subscribe button and also there's a little bell next to it that will make sure that you're notified when I have new videos. Um, that's about it I think for now. I hope you have a beautiful day ahead. Be kind to yourself, nurture your creativity and I'll see you soon. Bye!